Hey everyone, it's me Lo and in today's video I wanted to talk about my latest update to my deadlift platform application where I help with your calculations on how much plywood you need for your level, how much like your cuts should be distanced apart. And one of the people on my videos actually questioned, actually there are multiple people, on how this would apply for a four foot by eight foot deadlift platform. So I went ahead and I created an update or I made an update to the app and I wanted to break it down on what I did. So I'm gonna open the app on my phone just cause this is what um, I use. I'd recommend to use the either web app version or the phone version, like the phone app version, because if you press create PDF, it doesn't always create the PDF if you're just using your browser on your phone. So make sure when you open it, you press update. It may need an update, especially if I uh, made some updates to the app and then on the bottom of the screen you'll see that there's multiple tabs 8x8 level, 4x8 level, 4x4 level, T platform and then the about page going forward so the person that asked the question gave me calculations of a 1 inch height slope and using plywood of 0.25 inches using those two calculations if he were to make an 8x8 deadlift platform he would need 4 sheets of plywood have them cut in incre increments of 19.2 inches. 19.2 is the first cut, then 19.2 times two is the second cut, times three, then times four for the fourth board. So I'm gonna press create PDF. Here on the first screen, you'll see the, what you were expecting to see before. For an eight by eight platform, it says to have four boards that you cut at these specific lines. The thing is with an eight by eight platform, when you make these cuts, it, you're, you're essentially making two boards out of that one board. So if you go to page two, issue there's there's a bug that is out of my control with this sheet but um basically ignore all the things i say hashtag value because it's just google making up its mind and not wanting me to get rid of it anyways on this page this page is just for reference and do not think that you have to go and buy more boards because of this this board this page is saying from the first board that you're cutting when you make a cut at 19.2 inches the second half of it is going to be 76.8 inches based on the 4x8 plywood that you're purchasing. Same thing for board 2. When you make that 38.4 inch cut, it leaves 57.6 inches on the second half. On the third board, it leaves you cut at the line 57.6. It leaves 38.4 on the second half. 76.8 on the fourth board leaves 19.2. And what you'll notice is that these numbers are basically the opposite of each other. This is where the four by eight platform comes into play. So I commented on my video that's on my previous video that you can just basically half the number of boards and only follow the first half of cuts. Well, this is how it comes into play. So I'm going to go to the four by eight tab, put in the same calculations, one inch height of the slope, 0.25 inch thick plywood. Now it's telling me I only need two sheets of plywood with that thickness and each cut is still going to be 19.2 inches incremented. Create PDF for four by eight and what you'll see now is that it only gives me cuts for two boards but the thing is when we go to page two I'm still getting four boards out of it to make the level four by eight platform so this second page is just for reference in my video i always say go from the largest piece down to the smallest piece so in this case the largest size cut is going to be 76.8 then on top of that you're going to glue the 57.6 then the 38.4 then the 19.2 for a four by eight deadlift platform so say you're making a t platform and you want to also level it so you can follow the four by four platform if you're making it squeeze in and if you don't level it it's not going to be the same height as your top piece of plywood for the platform itself when you level this you have to think about how many pieces of plywood you're using in total and make sure it's the same height as the ones in that area. The easiest way to go about this is to make two 4x8s or 8x8 as you would call it and then cut off the edges. That's like the easiest way to go about it. But if you really want to like save money then I would say I would suggest doing the 4x4 and then adding a sheet of 4x4 plywood on, plywood on top of that. Easiest way to, the, to go about this is doing the 8x8 and then cutting it out. And then the cheapest way is probably going to go with a 4x4 platform to then attach to it. When you do this, you're measuring a slope of 4 feet rather than 8 feet long. 
So if you already measured the eight foot long one, then measure, they take half that measurement. So in the previous example was one inch. So I'm gonna do 0.5 inches as the height of the slope. And then I'm still going to use the 0.25 plywood. And it tells me I only need one piece of four by four plywood sheets to make the level itself, the level. Remember, that's the level. And we're gonna make cuts at 16 inches of a four by four plywood. So create PDF, and it tells me I have to make a cut at 16 inches. Well, that essentially leaves me with one 16 inch length board and another half that's 32 inches. And then again, paste from the largest to the smallest. So 32 goes on the bottom, 16 goes on top, and that's the level. But the thing is, if you're attaching it to a four by eight, if it's thicker on the four by eight, you'll wanna add extra layers of four by four plywood hole, like a whole piece to make it the same height. I really hope this is, helps break down what I mean by this update. I'm, I hope it's not confusing at all. I'm trying to be as useful to you guys as possible. Uh, there's not a lot of videos on how to make a level four by four or a level four by eight platform. So I hope this is really helpful, helps get those calculations and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, feel free to message me down below because I like to respond to you guys and I find it really helpful to find out what you guys need to know so that way I can make more content around that. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and check out my other videos. All right, bye.